morning too much my son's everybody doing today welcome back to another vlog so in today's vlog you guys are getting a progress report on this building from the last scene um i told you guys a container was coming so i'm gonna show you a container but i'm showing the inside of the building first and teach you know whatever you guys want to learn so you guys firstly have a look on the inside and observe what go on by the way how was the last vlog i was at rick's cafe and it was so so fun so 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 fun how was it how was it how was it so as you guys can see we are preparing to deck the roof so Found a seat prop them when I know I go on for who know what's a prop. Found a seat prop them when I know I go on. But we're gonna start from the outside and then come inside. So these now, these are the columns. These are the columns we encase inside of a molding, an aluminum molding, which as well, as we're well, show them grease it and grease the molding and then put the concrete in it unlike plies the plies eh, them normally wet it because it absorbs the water within the concrete so it sticks to it and then we we'll reuse it so with the aluminum aluminum molding them grease it so it create the layer so it doesn't bond the concrete doesn't bond to the aluminum As you guys can see, farm work to lintel, and we also do the belt beam at the same time. And these are the props we use bamboo, bamboo sticks as our props. We just install, get the bamboo stick, cut it, create a let's call it a rebate, create a rebate to hold the the runners and uh, the joists. Joists ply runners where where where. This space in between the joists are 16 inches. Yeah, that's the spaces. What do you call it? Center, off center. Yeah, and put it up, 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 farm work, farm work. And as you guys can notice, this is some little thing tie up, tie up right there, sir. Now, these are the twitches. Twitches are uh, all the farm work. So, from the farm work on the outside. To the farm work on the inside here are the twitches as you can see we have a panel box installed um we can regain electrician come through and do what he's supposed to do and what else go on what else go on what else go on oh and after let me come outside you guys watched the video when we were casting the stiffness them now with the stiffness them after casting them you realize how they smooth right they cannot be so smooth because when you're um you know flashing the wall you, you're basically throwing mortar on the wall and it has to like be corrugated like you know it has to it has to stick to something like grip onto something so what we normally do is key the walls or right? what most people say uh when they say ox ox the wall so you see this small smooth they normally get something nice dig dig up, dig dig up, dig dig up. I'm showing an example of key in the wall, how it looks like, what it looks like. It looks like this. Not like this. I'm not sure. So yeah guys, that's for how far we reach today. Um we have a delivery right now, so I'm gonna get to it and then see you guys.
long this one. You know, move, you know, move. So they say, the Madigi Wolf is so lateral, which is about 8 feet down there. So, we're not going to use the, the septic, uh, what do you call it, sterilized system or whatever you want to call We're running to a main sewer system. I just said that the man died, dig it. And just go flow straight down this and connect to a, a Y. And then it got to his sewer line. And I just gone about this business. So, man, we'll go right there so with the track gully basin. We're on here, so now we're going with grease trap from the kitchen. Yeah, guys, so that's what I'm going for today. But I think anything else I'm going to go on for today, we can show you. Know. And by the way, I really, really, really hope I enjoy the construction vlog here and I learn something because whilst me, you know, teach you know, a thing, I retain certain things and I help myself. So, hope you appreciate the construction vlog them. Hope you love the adventure vlog them and love the construction vlog them too. But, as I say, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, you guys. We need, you know, we need for large, you know, fun being. That's it for today on site. Um, tomorrow now is a new day. Tomorrow we'll be casting. So, stay tuned for that. We'll be casting tomorrow and i'll be showing you everything i wanted to show you guys the steel work i check it this morning to ensure that um you have distribution bars up there um load bearing well it's an over over support so tomorrow continue Seventy-five to eighty percent finish at the roof. And I'm still at work. I will start this from around nine a.m. and it's after four right now. Trust me. I recommend to use premium and not this process. This is slow. Previously that done from Paro Trevor Club. Done, 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 done. done. But I'm not the boss here. We are go by we are go with a 3000 PSI, which is a ratio of one to two to four, which is cement, sun, stone. So one represents cement, two represents sun. Uh, four represent stone. There's one to two to four. It give you, we're supposed to give you um, three thousand psi. So one more thing, you guys maybe are up is how them use the mixer. But at first, we throw water and it to kind of lubricate it like, and then it's water, then stone, then. 
cement them sand so water stone cement sand and then you, you go by the race shop to see if there it's a six inch slab so it is the one by three one by six one by six um lot as then template I need to freezer. Is it Morning again, T my smash. Day three. Complete cast in the roof slab. Yay! Blocks, the blocks, there are blocks. So, as you can see, them start the grease trap. Manual and that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Cool. So I guess I did this last night after my girl. Uh, so we're gonna have a look on the roof now. Because this video is about the slab. Big old roof slab. Come on. Uh, uh, this is steep. Yep. Hold on. Yes, guys, after a day, you can't walk on it. But just know it take up to like 21 days for cure. Like fully cure. Then need to get these lines out tight. So when I use a template, you know, necessarily need to use the the cards again you can just build up a little screed and come across so that needs to go but as you can see roof slab is complete so we just have to watch the roof interest in a crap not developing a roof or not form a sinkage or nothing like that even though the water is going to evaporate out the concrete slowly but surely so it might it cause the concrete itself to shrink so i will just watch it over the cup, next couple of days and keep um curing it and what you know concrete cures over the process of high well basically adding water to it yeah so i guess that's it so lastly just look inside the unit to see how or inside held up but I know all of them prop your under goes you know crazy stress right now it's a, it's a large prop I put up see that I know it's the years I did undergo tremendous amount of stress I see the prop post up alright so guys so I guess that concludes today's vlog hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as per usual you guys normally enjoy my vlogs because you already know I make the latest construction vlogs on YouTube is that a fact? I don't know but anyways t much thanks for watching this vlog truly appreciate you guys what I need you guys to do now if you guys are tuning in for the first is to hit the subscription button and also like this video if you learn something or enjoy my contents t my smash I truly appreciate you guys I'm leaving notes prep for my next vlog t my smash thanks for watching this video I'm out yo we my spirit somewhere in alive from people we still try it out